Do you ever feel like something's off? Previously, maybe your mental health was in tip-top shape, maybe you were even attracting women, business was going well, and maybe now you're in a rut. That's what most people call it. They call it a rut. And maybe now you've fallen off of self-improvement a little bit, you've fallen off productivity, you've fallen off going to the gym, you're starting to incorporate more bad habits, and why? Why does this happen? How is it that sometimes your brain can operate at such a high level for so long and then it all comes crashing down and it doesn't stay like that maybe it lasts a few weeks but generally it takes a while to get back there but for the time being while you're in this mode of being in a rut you don't know what's going on you don't know why it's happened and on top of that you don't know how to get out of it now i'm gonna break down a little ideology i came across the other day and I don't know how I thought of this, but when I looked introspectively, and when I looked at myself, and when I applied this ideology to myself, everything made sense. For a bit of context, around April, my mental health was tip-top condition. I was going outside to the park every single day for at least an hour to two hours to read or play football or do anything outside to get some vitamin D with my shoes off, some grounding. Perfect. And at the same time, I was training for a marathon. I was making YouTube videos. I had my agency was doing about $4,300 a month. Everything was going perfectly. I was going to the gym, sauna, steam room, cold showers, meditation, gratitude, journaling, everything. Now, I'm happy where I am now, but it's in a different sense. I'm not doing even half of the things I was doing back in April and my life has completely changed. In April, when this was going so well, it was paying off. My physique was incredible. My mental health was incredible. I attracted a beautiful woman at the time. She was really sweet and I had great friendships. I was going, I was being social. I was going outside more. It was perfect. And on top of all of this, I was pursuing business. Right now, however, all I'm doing is pursuing business. And because all I'm doing is pursuing business and pursuing that 10K a month goal and disregarding absolutely everything, my mental health is taking a toll. I'm no longer attracting those girls. I'm no longer going outside, at least unless it's to go to the gym. I'm no longer eating as clean as I was. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm still struggling with PMO. That's porn and masturbation. I didn't struggle with that before, and now I am. And I understand that even when you're pursuing business, you need to take accountability with your mental health and you need to make sure that doesn't slip. However, I'm at the point of just go all in, figure that shit out later, get 10K a month, figure out the mental health stuff later. You can fix that within about two, two to four weeks. So it's not a big issue. But the one difference, how I went from April of being this person that had incredible mental health and was attracting women and going on literally like the greatest dates of all time. Like you wouldn't even believe me if I told you the type of shit that would happen on a first date between me and this girl this video would get taken off of YouTube. It's pretty, pretty, uh, yeah. Yeah, anyways. So, <laughs> how did I do it? Well, first of all, it's just your goals change. Of course, you have to understand what you prioritize now in life is gonna dictate the actions you take. The actions you take are gonna dictate the results. If you're not doing any social activity, don't expect to have a lot of friends. If you're not dressing in nice clothes, don't expect to track attract a beautiful woman like look look at what i was wearing today i've been doing doordash for 10 hours today and look at the fit that i wore because i don't have time to do my fucking laundry i'm only focused on business i'm sorry but i'm wearing a fucking striped t-shirt and i'm wearing some goddamn basketball shorts. I mean, 
I mean, seriously, I look like I look like Adam Sandler. Like, what the hell's going on here, buddy? Shirt's coming off. What changed? How do you determine, okay, how did I get into a rut? How did my life change? Of course, focusing on different goals and doing different actions and prioritizing your time differently is gonna give you different goals. But at the end of the day, how the fuck did this happen? And it's not so that your life might suck. It might just be that, you know, I, I wanna have those other aspects. I wanna have a woman. I wanna have more friends. I wanna have more social experiences. I wanna have more fun. For me, I know I can't have those things right now with my goal. But the one thing I noticed is, look at your camera roll. Look at your camera roll on your phone from a time that you were really happy. And don't sit there and tell me, oh, you've never been happy. You've been happy. You've had moments of happiness, okay? You've had a week or two. Come on. Maybe like a few hours at most. But anyways, look at your camera roll from that time you were very happy. For me, that's April. You want to know what I see? When I go to my camera roll in April, I see me at the park. I see me like taking selfies at the park, smiling because I'm just, I'm reading a book and I'm at the park and it's awesome. I'm seeing me with my friends. I'm seeing my friends and I cook food together. I'm seeing, you know, hiking. I'm seeing going to coffee shops. I'm seeing working on my YouTube videos in coffee shops while scripting them. All these fun things, all these social activities. You wanna know what I see now? How my mental health completely degraded and how, and how I've not been able to attract women and how I'm sort of living as like a, as like an Elon Musk type thing where business is your only priority and everything else goes out the window. You wanna know what I'm seeing now? I'm seeing the only photos I see in my camera roll. I am dead serious, the only ones. Gym pics, DoorDash pictures of me in my car if there's a sunset, but you can tell I'm in my car. Or if it's someone's food dropped off at the doorstep, I have to take a picture before submitting it on the app. And also screenshots of like songs on Spotify. Like if a song comes up, because I'm listening to Spotify in my car and a song comes up, I screenshot it. That's cool. I want to listen to that song again or a podcast or something like that. And it's like, no shit, my mental health has deteriorated. Look at the past three weeks. There isn't a single other person in my camera roll besides me in the past three fucking weeks. There's no going to the park. There's no going to cafes. There's no meeting a new friend like in april i met a new friend and we had lunch together there's none of that it's just work doordash gym that's it and i'm fine with that but when you go through periods like this look at your camera roll what's changed okay can i afford can i afford the time and the energy and maybe the money if that's what it is to revert back to my old happy ways can i can i have the time to spend an hour or two reading at the park no i can't why because my current goal is 10k a month okay once i hit 10k a month can i start doing that of course i can go start playing football for three hours in the morning if i want to because i'll have that freedom but right now i'm sacrificing that which in turn sacrifices my mental health, sacrifices my relationships, just so I can have that goal. And I'm fine with that. But having the mental clarity of like, oh, oh, that's why my mental health is poor. That makes sense. Oh, it's cause it's cause of a lack of this. It's cause I'm not doing this anymore. And I used to knowing that it's there. I can get that whenever I want but I just don't want it right now. It's so reviving. It's fantastic. Because I know once I hit 10K a month, boom, incorporate all the hobbies back. Let's start going to coffee shops, start making new friends, start cold approaching, start going, going to the park, start reading at the park, start going to cafes, all this stuff I can start doing again. And so look at your camera roll, go back, 
look at your camera roll. I know there was a time that you're happy. And if there isn't, I'm sorry this video couldn't relate to you. But if you say that you're in a rut, that means that that's not your normal. And if you say you're in a rut, that means you've been happier before. So go back and look at your camera roll. Because I guarantee you take photos more than you think you do. And it will tell you a whole story. So use that for your advantage and look at it. Can I start incorporating this stuff back into my life? Even the small things. Going to a cafe is not a big thing. Meant most people wouldn't remember that. But I live such a minimalist life that I remember that exact day that I worked at the cafe. So go check your camera roll.